Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we have a MNT graded return. It is seven cards. These seven are from the cards that I showed in my previous graded return uh, video. So that was a submission that went out. I took some cards out, but those are the ones that are coming back. Really quickly before we get into it, we have some banger grades. I do know the grades. We have a 9.5 Gem Mint Tsunade uh, from Sage's Legacy. This is up for sale on my eBay. And then I'm also selling it's in a like a display case, but a 9.5 KCM Naruto from the last return because I do have another 9.5 coming in. So those are for sale. If you're interested in purchasing them, please hit me up on Instagram. With that being said, let's get into it. I'm very excited. First card is the Miracle Battle Cardass. This, these sets are fairly rare, hard to come by. Um, and the card that you're going to see here is pretty awesome. If you saw it in the previous submission, you would remember it. It was the Madra Uchiha. This is the Super Omega Rare. And as you could tell, so first off, it's an 8.5, and there's scuffing on the surface. You can get rid of that with some cleaner, but it's unfortunate. Um, 8.5, which is not bad. It's actually what I was... I can't remember what I predicted for it, but about an 8.5... You can see everything was gem mint except for the surface. So, fair enough. Those scratches look... They look worse than they actually are, actually. Yeah, you could probably get rid of that with some cleaner, so... 8.5 for the Madara. I did order these. Um, I'll cover the grade real quick. We got a Kisame from Heroes Ascension. This is one that I thought was going to do well. Um, and unfortunately, it didn't do as well as I thought. This got a, oh wow, so it got an 8.5, corners 9.5, surface 9.5, edges 10, but centering was an 8.0. I have no clue. Huh, let's compare it to the Tsunade. Just looking at it now, how is it off-center? Uh, I could see, that's tough. Oh, oh, it does look shifted up quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, it looks shifted up quite a bit. The back's okay. But you'll notice the, um, what do you call it? Where it says Ninja here is almost at the very top compared to here. So that's fine. So I was right. The card is very good, very clean. Just the centering is off. So. 8.5 on the Kisame. Sorry, it took a while on that. I just want to inspect it. Let's cover up the grade on this one. We have a Tsunade from Heroes Ascension. Beautiful, beautiful texture pattern. Uh, most of these cards will be for sale or for, for trade if you're interested. We've got a Tsunade. Beautiful card. I remember thinking both, because we sent in two, both were going to get about a 9.5, maybe a 9 at worst. And this one got a 9. So you can see centering 9, surface 9, but the other two got a 9.5. So a fairly decent nine actually the strongest nine you can get because if we had a one more 9.5 grade that would be a gem mint card so beautiful we got tsunade now i think from here on out we're in to some heavier hitters so we got the killer bee from heroes ascension once again beautiful texture pattern and on this one we got for me a surprising grade i thought it could get a nine we actually got a 9.5 now it's not a true 9.5, the corner has got a 9, but it still is 9.5 gem mint. Just a beautiful card, what a sick, iconic card. Heroes Ascension I think has some of, if not the nicest art, uh, with the texture patterns and everything. Next up we got Sakura Haruno from Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, the final set in the card game. And this one as well got a 9.5, once again a... Not a true 9.5, because the edges got 9, but a 9.5 nonetheless. Beautiful card, incredible texture pattern, awesome 9.5. We have two cards left. Now you will see that right there is an MNT 10 label. Yes, we did get a 10. We'll show you guys at the very end. First, we have a Tsunade, another one. This one got, though, a 9.5. It got 10 corners, 9.5 edges, 9.5 surface, and a 9 for centering. So centering has been hurting us quite a bit in the sub. 
but a 9.5 Tsunade, beautiful, probably going to stay in the collection. And the final one, the 10 label. If you don't know, MNT 10s, which are hard to get, especially for Naruto, although more have been popping up recently, but the pristine 10 has a shattered label, shattered white, like glass label. The black label, or the perfect 10, has a black shattered glass. So we know it's not a perfect 10, we know it is a pristine 10, and it is, of course, the Hashirama from set 26. I pulled this card out of AD Collects' Avengers Wrath box break. He said, he's like, look, CK, this is definitely a 10. And I was a little bit hesitant, but he was 100% right. He called it. It was a 10. And the only thing wrong is centering. And if you guys don't know, MNT is very harsh on centering. So there is a shot that if you were to take this card and send it off to Beckett, it may get the black label because they're a little bit more lenient on centering. Not 100% guaranteed, but decent chance. Now this card, although it would be awesome to have in the collection, I am most likely trading this to someone for a even cooler card in my opinion, like just personal preference. So, But first ever MNT uh, 10 Naruto card that we have ever graded. I feel so blessed to be able to have all these awesome cards. I think this submission was incredible. Let's take, these are probably, you know what, actually we could do, let's do this. These cards here, that's just an insane lineup. All in one submission, all relatively rare, somewhat expensive full art cards, not easy to come by, and all gem mint or pristine. That's insane. That is one heck of a submission. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.